Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it is Tuesday, May 26th, I think. Yeah. Uh, got some new audio equipment in. I got a Rode shotgun mic. Uh, we're trying out today. Hopefully the, video, the audio quality will get a little better. Uh, but I uh, got a couple things to do around the garage and I'm going to go in the back and uh, prune some squash. Uh, one of the biggest problems with squash is powdery mildew. This is uh, squash and zucchini. Uh, and the biggest thing you can do is to remove some of the leaves so it can have good airflow. And uh, I'll take it back there and then we'll also go through uh, how to use uh, this new little gadget I got on Amazon. But uh, I'll take you all along with me and like I said, we're trying this new uh, shotgun mic out and see how it goes. All right, so this is our squash bed with our uh, rattlesnake green beans in it. And as you can see, <clears throat> I planted them a little thick this year. Uh, so I need to go through and trim a bunch of it. Um, like I said, uh, bear with me on the shotgun mic. Uh, the wind sock hasn't came in, so if the wind is a little bad, I apologize. Uh, we'll get that fixed. But uh, I'm just gonna go through here and cut any of like the old leaves and uh, stuff like that and get it all cleaned out and then pull up any weeds while I'm at it. So I'll put you all on time lapse for that. All right, so we just got done uh, pruning up the zucchini and squash. And I wanted to highlight this little uh, tool that I found on Amazon, little gadget. Um, we used to tie our, our little cucumbers and green beans up with uh, you know, little pieces of wire or cold clamps. Uh, but this is called the tapener. Uh, I saw it on a TikTok video, actually. And then uh, I found it on Amazon, finally. But it's called a tapener. And when you go like this, it pulls out this little red ribbon. And when you do that, I'll show you what to do next. All right, so you would take uh, something like a cucumber, like this is our, <clears throat> these are the dragon cucumbers. You take it and you go around and it staples it on. And then we'll go again and we'll make it, I'll make it one a little tighter. You don't have to open it up all the way, but see right there, come open. And you click it and it holds it there on the bamboo. And uh, I've been using this all year. I love it. Um, it's way easier than what I was used to doing. So yeah, this uh, this product, it came with uh, replacement staples. It came with like six rolls of tape. You just open it up right here. And you put that little plastic tape, it's like a little marker tape, um, and you slide it through. And I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, I just, I endorse products that work. I think I paid it for like 30 bucks for it on Amazon. Um, I will try to put the link at the bottom um, if anyone's interested in this, but this thing is a game changer. I would recommend it to anybody, and I've been using it. All my cucumbers, all my green beans, all my squash, uh, even putting tomato plants in my tomatillos up against the tomato cages to help them from the wind, and it works wonders. And I think it came with, like, I think it came with like 10,000 staples, um, eight, replacement tapes even a replacement blade so that was pretty cool pretty cool deal for like 25 30 bucks I think but it makes my life so much easier Here's something we're doing new this year that we didn't do last year. Let me turn the camera around. 
These little guys are called Mexican gherkins. They're also called cucumbellos, I believe. Um, I love eating them. Uh, they're great. They uh, they kind of have like a little sour aftertaste, but kind of tastes like a um, the white on a watermelon. But I love them. Um, we're gonna try pickle some this year. It's our first year growing them. Um, they're really good. But I think I overplanted that pot, so they're a little overgrown right now. But uh, I know they produce really well so far. So uh, this is our cucumber setup. Um, we did them differently the first year, but I've got three pieces of five foot fencing going across for our cucumbers or trellis. We grow them out of these pots and trellis and they go along the fence. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's a water line going right here. So I did have the land surveyed before I went ahead and just started putting T-posts in the ground, which I would recommend before you dig anything, plant anything, Call it was it 811 or 711. I don't I don't know which one it is, but call before you dig, um, and it'll save you, save you some money in the long run if you hit a water line. But uh, yeah, these are our our cucumbers right here. We uh, we had really good luck with this. One thing we do have that might set most gardeners in the backyard apart is a uh, a beehive right up here in my neighbor's house he has bees in that little crevice right there um, when we first moved in we told him about it but uh, he basically said well what, what do you want me to do about it so we used it to our advantage now it uh, it pollinates all of our cucumbers our tomatoes all of our zucchini and squash so when you're doing an urban garden Definitely use your environment to your advantage. So this is our uh, purple tomatillo plant. It's the first year we're doing this. Um, I'm gonna prune it just like I would my normal tomatoes. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me while I do that. I, uh, I typically try to use something like this. It's a real precise, small little trimmer. Um, but I'll just go basically from <clears throat> a foot down and make my cuts and just take the small stuff off. You know, because you want to bring all the energy up. So if you got big branches coming off the bottom, it's just taking up energy. It's not going to push it towards the top like you want it. So I'm going to go through here. And I'm just going to take out these small little leaves. Careful not to poke the main stem and uh, damage the plant. But I'll just go in and make my cuts. I don't know if this is really necessary on a tomatillo. Like I said, this is our first year growing on it and they are the purple variety. Um, the flowers are really cool looking. I'm really excited for these. We're gonna make some salsa, I think. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go in here and, and print some of these small little leaves off. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn it all around and show you all kind of what I did. So I basically just went through, just trimmed out anything below a foot. I don't know if these grow the same way as tomatoes, where they would root higher up you get. It looks like you, they do, because I can see the little spots right here. Uh, but it's definitely different than the tomato plant. So uh, this turned, started out as our K2 
cabbage bed, but it kind of turned into our, our herb bed and some of our leafy greens. Like we got some Swiss chard over here. Uh, but I try to go like once a week and trim this out. Is that tractor? <laughs> So I try to go once a week and just trim out some of this mint because if you don't, it just takes over the entire bed and uh, we have other stuff going in there. All right guys, that about wraps it up for the day. I um, just wanna go out with this final thought for the day. Um, <clears throat> you know, with all the pandemic and, you know, news coming out every day, I uh, just wanna advise everybody just for a couple hours a day, just turn the TV off, uh, change the channel, spend time with your kids, spend time with your family, go outside and just, uh, just take your mind off of what's going on in the world, you know, whether you're on the left or the right, it doesn't matter. We don't know what what the, what the truth really is. And so uh, my advice is just get out there and enjoy yourself. Stop, you know, letting fear run your life, but uh, be safe out there. And I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow.